Ah, uh, hello, I'd like to welcome one and welcome all back to l s I want to say Litton of for some reason, but it actually is. <coughs> ah! Let me throw that out there. Hello, I'd like to welcome one and welcome all back to Lego Stars The Complete Saga, where today we're tackling the specials, which are the final two golden bricks, or should I say the final 12 golden bricks we need across all episodes before we're never going to have to come back to any canonical level. <coughs> These are bonuses! Character bonuses gotten by completing the entire story. Super stories just go through the entire story, get a high score in time and whatever. Minikit bonus, get all the minikits. So let's give it a shot. I don't have no idea what these things are like, because it's been so long. Ugh. If I remember, these scrolly things are all the same across all of them. It's like, oh man, there's a guy and he's gotta get money. Money, 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 money! Daily life goes on across the galaxy. <clears throat> I like how they're trying to squeeze this in kinetically. That's just curious. Oh, so they did use kinetical. Fuck you then. Well, that's that's gonna be sauerkraut. Holy shit, it's purple studs! Okay, so, um... We can turn on extras. Yeah, but what, yeah, we can't turn on... Yeah. We can't turn on anything that makes money happen. But you know what? Let's do this MLG Pro legit. The idea is that you're trying to get a million studs in... Per, 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 I think you only get the... Let's turn on stud mag just for convenience's sake. Oh, no, you can't. That's great. Yeah, this is a competition, so you're supposed to be like, Oh man, I got that stud first, you didn't. So as you can see, characters drop studs, which is why you can't turn on character studs. Hey, it's the victory song. So this makes power-ups insanely useful, because they give you stud magnet. As well as this. And some of this. Anyway, in case the goal isn't obvious, you're supposed to collect 1 million studs, which can be acquired by breaking objects. Defeating enemies if you happen to feel like it. Oh man, yes there are pur- I didn't know purple studs already existed back in the day. I thought they were like things added later on, but they did. I guess it makes sense because they do speed up the process dramatically. Like with a thousand, you need to collect like a thousand of them. Man, I'm strict on the time limit here. I also don't have any blaster characters in my second, which is insanely annoying. Yeah, those uh, power-up spheres are definitely the way to go. I think you need to collect about 200k per minute in order to get the rate necessary for the the level up uh, thing. Okay, to get the time limit that it sets for you. Go and sneak those in. Don't think that just because I'm doing good now means I'm gonna be keep doing good. Like this is a scarcity race. At some point we're gonna run out of studs in this area, we're gonna have to move to a new section of the level. If you see a purple stud, uh, and you got the vision to make them out in between the regular studs, I recommend just picking up as many purple studs as you can, and sort of trying to get as much collateral along the way as you can. I really hope that he's gonna stick with the, the bounty hunter, because bounty hunters are really useful, so they can blow up silver, silver things, and they have that explosive that's also really good. So yeah, with five minutes, this video is going to be nice and short for once. Yeah, 
Yeah, but as much as there are purple studs, they aren't in the main game. They're only in this for convenience's sake, as I said. And that earns me one point. That's probably why it says winner during challenge mode. So like, oh, this person. But how did you win? I don't know. I guess it counts mini kits individually. Yeah, you gotta set a new best time. That's pretty. Uh, that's pretty nasty, actually. Because the time limit, I think, is always five minutes, which means you have to get 200k per. And luckily, they're not that big of levels. They're not like massive and sprawling. If I remember, they're just sectional areas. Pretty easy. Okay, so he's still the robot guy, which gives me a great advantage. Unless, of course, we deal with a. Oh, these are all the mini kits we collected! Look at this! We can play with the mini kits! Oh, that's so cool! Oh, look at how cool they look! Uh, let's pick the X Wing, because I had an X Wing mini kit. Oh, we get all of them. That's nice. Let's see how they're going to rationalize this one. Episode 1 The Phantomist Menace. Mini kit bonus in Tatooine. As the Republic struggles to deal with the Federation threat. Oh, so that's going to be exactly the same thing for entire episode 1. Oh no no! In the pod racing arena, interpreter venture compete to collect wings and studs in the fastest time possible. Okay, so they constantly change where it's at, but it's not changing the story. Oh whatever. Oh look at oh this is pretty cool. Getting a big power bubble though is crucial to winning this one if I remember. If I also remember, uh, not just enemies but certain locations will also respawn over time. Dying is insanely dangerous in these segments. Oh yeah, let's go nuts. Now we're going to fuck all mode. Look at that. Look at that score going nuts. That is the nutsiest score I've ever seen on this side of the nutsy moon. Anyway, you can take some... I think you can get a whole lot of tokens. Let's read the droid Deka. Let's see how he functions. Oh, he's actually a little droid Deka! <laughs> oh, that's the best. Where do we find torpedoes at? Oh, probably down here. Are torpedoes drops? Are you supposed to kill enemies to collect those? Could be. Oh, no, 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 no. It's definitely a thing you have to pick up. That's okay. Because, you see, I'm a lumberjack, and I'm okay. Let's see how many studs we can squeeze out of this puppy. Oh, pow! Oh, ho, ho, ho! I think a power up is more than worth that big boy. Oh, yeah, look at all that money rolling in the dough, bitches. Ah, oh, we got a million. That was a nice and quick one. Let's do, the, let's do two episodes per, so I can do this in one day in three videos. And with that, we have 100%ed episode one. That was amazing. J'approve. J'approve. I don't know if that's actually how the French uh, say to agree with, but whatever. But let's go scratch some beards. Again, that's a smiley face. It's a bit of a weird one, but it's definitely a smiley face with a nose. Start with the character bonus on Geonosis. <sighs> Let's see what today's episode brings. Attack of the Clones. Character bonus on Geonosis. You know, I feel sorry for the Germans, because their corporate laws are so strict that on a consistent and constituent basis, their video, my videos get blocked because of all the music. Which is kind of sad. I like how... On G wasn't the whole factory supposed to be a secret? Let's go hold a race to collect a million studs. On our secret war factory. Don't see anything that can go wrong with that. 
Yeah, but the reason these are much more fun maps than any of the other things I've done so far is... Look at this. It's an, it's new, it's newly made. It's not great, but it's definitely something else. From all the samey stuff we've been doing. Oh man, Boba Fett would have been a godsend around here. Can I make this? Yes, I can. Oh, I have a blaster character in a second. That's great. Oh! Oh! Yeah, we got a nice early lead. Let's hope we can keep it. I was hoping for a power up. Do you know what they say? Can't win them all. Oh man, he's got a pretty fast gun. You wanna bring it, boy? I think you bring it to the table, boy. Hmm, boy. Hmm, boy. Hmm, boy. Hmm, boy. Hmm, boy. Did he just do a spinny spin? He did a spinny spin. Also, his gun does double damage, which is just amazing. Listen, Forlom, how about you stop dying all the time? You're bringing down my tally. If you aren't sick of the whole cling 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 stud noise, you probably will be by the end of this, but hey, it's a small sacrifice to be made. Do you get to keep the studs or not? You'd think not, though. Because all I'd have to do is beat the story mode and go to this and get a million. Oh, man. And one million studs. Like I said, the levels are simple, but... I don't know, it's a lot more fun to just go around smashing things and making money. You know what, in the next uh, video I'll turn on the cheats just to make it a little more fun, because now it's just, oh man, I'm walking around to speed of sound. I'll turn on regenerating hearts just to make it a little bit more simple, a little more interesting. Maybe add explosive blasters and force grapple leap, ooh. There's a lot of fancy stuff I can add. But let's just focus on the next episode bonus. Minikit, Curacent. Go to the Republic Cruiser, default vehicle, and pick them all. Where are we having fun today is the question that everyone wants to know. Do you know? I don't know. He doesn't know. Can someone else ask the question, please? Oh man, the top of my control is to being all wonky, you know, bent. Ugh. And I got a P On the city planets of course. Yeah, because it's every planet has exactly one climate. That is how science do. In case anyone at Why are there TIE Fighters in Curacent? You don't exist yet. Canonically speaking, you need to get the fuck out of here. Can I fly over this, or is this like folly stuff? No, it's not folly stuff. It's just something they tend to do. It's like, oh man, let's make a random folly hole. Despite the fact that you're in a plane, and you're flying around at the speed of sound. Man, I wish I had a rainbow to follow. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do
Getting a power up would be pretty cool. Possible. This is just pure chaos. But now it's becoming pure and utter money grabbing. Money, 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 money. Should I say money, 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 money. There's money to be made in this yonder world. I thought I could. The little engine that could. In two short chapters. There once was a little engine that thought that it could, but it could not. For it suffered from type 1 diabetes. And thus was forever cursed to not could. Is this really the story you want to tell your children? Yes, it is. Because they have type 1 diabetes, and I do not want them to overcome their disease. They must learn to suffer. You never suffered. You grew up in the fanciest house in town. So, because of that, I can torture my children? How ridiculous. Back in my day, it was perfectly fine to abhorrently torture one's offspring. It was considered the average day thing, as I talked to other parents about... Oh, how are you going to torture them children today? And they'd be like, oh, I've got this fancy new thing planned. The Germans, really? You're going to put that on the Germans? If I remember, the German are like super hypersensitive to that kind of stuff these days. Like, they learned their lesson from World War II, kid. They were like, really, that's that. we're never going to let that happen again. Let's just go as far away from that as we can. Because the last thing you want is a large industrialized nation that happens to play in on the world economy is to lose. And we don't want that either. We're the Dutch. We're pretty much... We're a tumor. We suck out their inability to transport things and chew it out the other end. Rotterdam, anyone? I think it used to be the biggest port, but it's been seceded by someone else. Who was bigger and portlier. Because that's how being the biggest port works. You gotta be the biggest and portliest of ports. Why is my cape doing such weird... Oh, I see! This entire floor is reflective! See? The entire floor is reflective. But this sand is just a texture they pasted over it. That is a pretty neat detail. Anyway, on the next exciting episode, we're gonna do steps 3 and 4. This was nice and quick. I love it.